Okay. Alright. Alright, I think that's where it's supposed to be. Hello and welcome again to Holy Spirit Ministries. I am Paul Christian Goodwin and I am full of the Holy Spirit and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise be to God the Father. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I come to you today. <clears throat> this is Saturday, and uh, forgive me, November 26th, 4.30 p.m. Um, <clears throat> today's message is about bi abiding in His presence. Okay. Now, before we get started, take a moment to come into agreement with me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you and I praise you, Lord, for this day. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for each and every blessing. Lord, I come before you, covered into the, covered by the blood, Lord, into your presence boldly, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. And I ask in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, that you strengthen me, Lord, that your, your entire presence, Lord, just consumes me in Jesus' name, Lord, that you fill me, dear Heavenly Father. Fill me and purify my heart, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, so that the words that come from my mouth are always truth, dear Heavenly Father, Lord. Lord, that the words, your words that you speak through me, dear Father, Lord, into their hearts, into the hearts of my brothers and sisters, dear Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus, yes, Lord, oh, in Jesus' name, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you bless each and every individual who partakes of viewing this on this day or any other day, Lord, that it is, it is, it is there available, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you, I thank you, oh, in Jesus' name, Lord, mm. let your will be done, let your will be done, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Again, Paul. Okay, you should know me by now. If not, this is me. All right. Full of the Holy Spirit. Now, abiding in His presence. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get you. Uh, get you <clears throat> some word here. You know. <laughs> it's always vital to have this. Okay. Again. All right. We're gonna start with John chapter 14, verse 22. All right. Um, starting with 22, actually 23 is the main focus, but, all right. Judas, not Iscariot, asked him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself, make yourself real to us, and not to the world? Jesus answered, if a person really loves me, he will keep my word, obey my teaching, and my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home, abode, special dwelling place with him. We will come to him and make our home, abode, special dwelling place with him. When will he do that? If a person really loves me, if a person really loves me, he will keep my word, obey my teaching, and my father will love him. All right. Start with the simple part. If you don't have a, a relationship with, with God, start to develop it. Prayer. Prayer is the number one key to building the relationship. Okay? You are having an intimate conversation with God. Okay? You're not just running a monologue, you know, you're not just, oh, oh Lord, thank you, and then, da, 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 no, you are speaking to God, and when you open your heart, speaking to him, he speaks back, <laughs> he speaks back, he speaks back, and <laughs> you will, <sighs> okay, abiding in his presence, let's keep the focus, all right, you have to Know in your heart that what you are saying is being heard. Okay. Once you get, once you develop into your prayer life, you get a strong prayer life going. Um, you'll, 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 you'll begin to, you'll begin to hear him. <laughs> you will begin to hear him. You, you may hear him the first time. You know, it's, it's, it's all dependent upon your faith. And of course, as I always say, 
everything everything starts right here with the word you know hearing the word reading the word the word is the word is the, is the is the most ultimate key because this is what this is what your heart gets uh, cleansed with if you will because everything you put in here grows in here comes out here okay <clears throat> Once you've developed a strong relationship just in prayer, just in prayer alone, okay? There's a lot of other things that are, that are important to the two. There's, you know, praise and worship. And, but, uh, all right, we're going to stick with this now. Coming into his presence requires faith. Okay, this you should already know. But when you pray, you are building, you are, you, you are increasing your faith. You are increasing your faith exponentially because there's there's this interaction going on between you and heaven and you and God and and just like information going through a wire like you get cable or, or internet or whatever um, when the information is traveling through to the internet or to your computer or whatever there's information from your computer traveling back to the internet or back to you know wherever it's going but it, it's that's what it is it's a constant link and and not only is it just the words that you speak going to him, but it is your your spirit, your energy, if you will, and God's energy, his spirit being transferred back and forth. So at that time, or during that time of, 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 of prayer, you are you are being strengthened, you are being cleansed, you are being you are being empowered. So that's that's the beginning. That's the beginning focus of 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 be abiding in His presence. It's it's just building that solid relationship. Now, of course, um, something extremely also vital to know is um, you know your faith in Jesus. Your faith in the blood of Jesus is 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 a is a huge portion. Well, it's it's it has to be there. It has to be there. You have to know about the blood. You have to know about the blood. The blood was shed. For for uh, for various purposes, and 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 all of the purposes were just so that we would have victory, so that we would be cleansed of uh, of any wrongdoing, of of you know of of sin, and so that we would be able to be in His presence. All right, now His presence is a wonderful place. Thank you, Jesus. When your when your life when your spirit, okay, is 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 purified, when your heart is cleansed by the blood, when you are covered by the blood, you may enter into His presence. Now, what is His presence? And this one, oh, Hare Mola said that ish, Lord, Lord, give me the word, give me the word. His presence is awesome. His presence is magnificent. His presence is. It is beyond imagination, beyond imagination. It is peace, it is love, it is grace, it is mercy, it is everything. It is eternal. God is eternal. God is infinite love, never, ever, ever, ever ending. And that is what life is. That is what life is. Never ending perfection, love, love, adaskeration, devil. You, when you enter into his presence, when you are covered by the blood, and you enter into his presence, you feel, you feel the power of life, infinite energy. Now, forgive me, I don't want this to, to, to sound, you know, out there, because a lot of you are probably going to, you know, you're not going to, you might not grasp it exactly as I'm trying to explain it, but in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, fill me, Lord, fill me, Lord, for a little word, come on, Lord, thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Abiding in this presence is, uh, is, is, a, is a lifelong process. It's not something that you achieve. You can't achieve entering into his presence fairly easily. It's all about your love and your faith in your heart. As your, as your, if your heart is seeking God, you know He, he knows this. And and in and, 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 and truth, it's really not about whether even He knows it. It's about whether or not you 
know it. <laughs> yeah, it's about whether you know it because you know yourself better than anybody. And you know what it is that's important to you. And, and, and whatever is important to you, that's what you sink your heart into. That's where that's, you know. And, and our focus, your focus should always be in God and His Word because everything is His. Everything is His. This is His creation. Okay, moving right along. When you are in His presence, anything and everything you could desire is yours. It is yours. When you step into when you step into his presence, you got there because your faith brought you there. Your faith, your trust, your belief, your love for him brought you into his presence. And that's all, that's what he wants. That's exactly what he wants. But it's not, it's not something that you just, it's not, it's not like you, it's not like that's the ultimate goal. All right. The ultimate goal is, is, is to abide, is to live there, is to live there permanently. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's a process for us as, as human beings because we, 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 we've been given the gift of the physical presence. And, and it, it is a gift. It is a wonderful gift. I mean, that's one of the reasons why uh, the enemy, uh, Satan, is, is so jealous of us because... God created us special. We are, we are just, we are, we are awesome. We're awesome beings because we are spirit. We were created in His image. But he allowed us to be able to partake of something that none, no, another, none other of His creations can do. So, okay, that's you know, that's actually that's a whole another message in itself. But um, <clears throat> but that presence, abiding in His presence, is something that you you live for. You live for, and as you live for it, as you stay focused, and uh, and 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 just walk in love. If you, when you walk in love, you, your whole being, His presence is with you. He lives within you, you know. And, and man, how how best can I explain this, Lord? <sighs> the longer, no. Yeah, I don't know. The longer you stay in His presence, the the more the more you make it your home. Okay, living in His presence, and as you do, He He can do anything with you. He can do anything with you. He can use you to perform miracles. He can use you to bless others. He can, He can use. He, Oh, I can't tell at all. He's so good. I just can't tell at all. Okay, let's let's let me let me get my other Bibles over here real quick. Okay, all right. <laughs> Walking in spirit. Of course, you know that's the title of my program here. Your 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 love for God is vital to your life because when you walk in that love his presence extends forth from you and he is further glorified now what that what that entails is you are going to be that light okay like the, like the bible says you know we are we are a lamp all right and our hearts are supposed to shine his light forth in order to bring in the rest of his children, those who are lost, because he wants us all to have that relationship with him, that perfect love, that perfect bond. And it is our job to learn how to abide in his presence. Now, if I can help you with that... <laughs> Let me try. As you pray, center your center your your mind's attention to the words that you speak. All right. Now, 
the words that you speak are going to come from your heart. Okay? But let your mind pay attention to what is being said. Because it recycles itself. It recycles itself in order, in order to take the, to have the cleanse process. Now, once you once you as you as you do this, as you pray, your mind your mind is, is a magnificent thing and, and what it does is it is it can transform, <laughs> if you will, the energy that comes forth from your mouth, all right, into a a a visual understanding, a visual representation of God's God's being. And I know this sounds I know this sounds odd, but I, let me share with you, let me share you with you um, something that recently took place. <clears throat> I was praying uh, very fervently last night, and um, I tell you that God, God looked at me. I saw His eyes as I knelt before His throne. All I saw was a great, a great light. I mean, just larger, brighter than the sun. Just. And, and there was just some steps, and I just knelt down in his presence. And I stopped and I looked up, and his eyes were looking at me, and they were so beautiful. But I said, Hey, it was. Thank you, Jesus. And of course, you know, he spoke to me. He spoke to me, and he said, Paul, you are in my presence, and the promises that I have made to you are fulfilled. Okay, this is that was personal. That was very personal, and and um, I didn't really need to share that with you, but I just I, I just I felt the need. Okay, so moving along, when you're in His presence, imagine yourself being in just an infinite, an infinite. Wow, I can't, I can't even explain how, how, how it is. It's just infinite love. Just perfect, perfect, perfect love. Wow. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, help me. Help me. Okay. All right, let me, let me get a little more detailed in this because I'm really just lost in my own, <laughs> in my own, To abide in this presence, again, as I was saying before, we—it's—it's it's not something that you, that you just partake of and 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 then you're done. You know, you—it's something that is—it's a lifelong process. We have to continue living in His presence, dwelling in His presence. Now, just because we are in His presence doesn't mean that things won't come in our in our lives to to cause uh, distractions or. Or problems and such like that, because see, the enemy is going to be very jealous. He's going to be so extremely jealous that, um, well, he's he's going to do anything and everything in his power in order to 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 get you out of it. Okay, but once you're in it, once you're in it, and once you realize, once you once you come to the understanding of how you how you got there, and which of course is by the blood of Jesus, never. Never let your feelings get in the way of what you of what you know is true. See, that's the that's the biggest thing that the enemy loves to use your feelings against you. All right. So in order to stay in his presence, you have to learn how to lock out your feelings. You have to learn how to cancel your feelings. Your feelings are are are, are a lie. Well, they're not a lie, but they're 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 the way the enemy uses to lie to you. And you have to you have to know how to be strong against that because your feelings are. Love is not a feeling, all right. Being in His presence is not a feeling, all right. When you're in His presence, you you will feel great, okay. But it's not about feeling great. It's about it's about it's about it's about, it's about being where God expects you to be. It's where it's about living His will. It's about glorifying Him. It's about 
the perfection that he made you to be all right so never let it never let it uh never let anything even even good feelings even happy feelings you know um how can i best explain this um i, I like to always go through the things that like i do at work you know there'll be there, there's a lot of times when i'm out there working and everything and and it, it, there's a lot of things that can be discouraging and just simply uh for what i do you know uh waving at cars and such the um the, the uh one of the discouraging thing would be if i'm being extremely entertaining and nobody's uh feeling me <laughs> if you will you know not so many people are honking waving or anything like that you know it's like there's the enemy can come in and, say, and just kind of like get you down but you can't feel you can't feel you have to ignore feelings okay because what you're doing is glorifying god everything you do is about glorifying god so you know don't don't try to please people now you're you're what you're doing out there is 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 the work of the lord or what i'm doing out there what, what it is whatever it is you're doing you're doing it for god you're doing it because he created you and the the you were created for the purpose of doing exactly whatever it is you're doing because that's where he put you all right that's definitely true okay when you stay focused on that task at hand as though you're doing it for him again you are you are you are you are practicing being in his presence because his whole his his will comes first his will comes first so but if you allow your feelings to get away of it then you're no longer doing his will you know that actually in, in truth you, you start it becomes a selfish a selfish thing a selfish task and uh, and that's definitely something you do not want to be partaking of is anything that has to do with selfishness from the smallest thing to the biggest thing because even the smallest thing will grow and escalate into something else and you always got to be you have to be strong you have to be strong and always pray 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 and i say hey this year they bought pray for strength in jesus name <laughs> and um when you do that you will learn how to block out those feelings again the enemy loves to use the feelings he loves to use the feelings and and of course you know I'm, if i can I'm, i can i can't even really explain this that well because i've just i thank you i, I pray you dear heavenly follower that you strengthen me so uh when you feel up and when you feel down about something it, it, it it's uh, depression right all right and god didn't create you for that he created you for joy all right joy is not a feeling either all right um you can classify it as a feeling but joy is just it's just the perfect um the perfect demonstration of god's action the perfect demonstration of god's action because of his love he's all he's he's just love and, and what else could love bring pain no <laughs> no okay so all right <laughs> Anytime, anytime you you begin to start feeling uh, negatively in any way, form, shape, fashion, whatever, uh, stop and pray. Stop and pray. Stop and pray. Uh, because if you if you if you let if you let even even the slightest hint of, of a feeling start to, to to change your mood or or your thought process you you've just you've just let that seed begin to grow in your heart and and and, and it's it's easy of course at the, at, the, at the early stage to get it out but it's usually always best just to not let it get there at all so whatever it is that you start feeling just take it away just take it away instantly but the word of god if you have to go to your bible get a get a bible verse you know that's that's wonderful too but it, it, it's really just as simple as just just praying just just going into his presence and it, as far as i can at my my best uh way to express you to get into his presence uh um and and, and, and encounter all this is um it's just knowing again knowing about the blood knowing about the blood what the blood was shed for um that would be a whole nother uh uh sermon if you will uh, that I would have to mm, enlighten you with and 
uh, I mean, I might have to write. I might have to I might write, you know, write out something for you on that actually, because I've actually come to find that <clears throat> uh, with last week and this week here already so far as going, it, it would probably be better if I would uh, just put some things together just to make sure uh, I'm getting the message across correctly, perfectly, as God uh, intends for it. But at any rate, the, the word the word of God is. Is, is all that my heart has ever focused on. So I'm, I, I, I assure you, um, I assure you that I, I, I am not, um, I'm not. This is this is no selfishness in me. That um, I'm not telling. I, I would not want to tell you anything that would be wrong, and I definitely would not want to please God. So I just let my mouth speak. That what's what's in my heart. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> feelings. Yeah. Feelings are, feelings are bad. Feelings bad. Um, feelings are good, but feelings are bad. You have to, you have to know how to control them. Control is, is, is a huge issue. Control is a huge issue. And like I've said before, motivation, what, what, what motivates you, um, what your heart is motivated by, um, and, and that should always be God. That should always be uh, your love for God and, 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 and knowing his love for you. Okay, I did, I did move a little bit fast on that before that last part. Um, the blood, yeah. Oh, okay, right. So the blood, mm -hmm. yeah. Knowing what the blood has ratified, knowing what that you are redeemed, knowing that you are able to enter into his presence at any time, knowing that you are not condemned, you are not condemned no longer, any longer, um, by by the sin. And in, in, in anything that the accuser, uh, the devil, Satan, uh, tries to tries to put into your head. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. Just something to get you to move you in your feelings to keep you away from God. And God does not. That, he wants you to know. He wants you to know that you are welcome. <laughs> you are welcome a lot. I got a I got a friend uh, who says, Oh, you know, I've done all this and this and this, and and I've done so many things wrong, and it would just. I, I don't think it would be right for me to just come to God and say, uh, you know. That uh, like I'm like I'm like I that I need him or something or whatever, and 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 that's oh, that's just the enemy telling lies, telling lies, telling lies. And you got to you got to just uh, you got to push past that. You know you got to push past that and 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 just realize that it would when you believe in Jesus, you're cleansed, you're purified. There is nothing. There is nothing to keep you from his presence. And just knowing that, just knowing that and believing in that. Oh, man, I mean, how great the things that take place in your life when you just trust and believe that truth. Me, I can tell you so many things. I can't even, uh, I can tell you so many things, man. God does so many things in my life each and every single day. From the littlest to the biggest, let me tell you, I am blessed. I am, I am wealthy. I am rich in every area of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Man, I want you. I want you. I want you. I want you all to understand and, and know. Know this, 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 this existence, this truth. His presence is. There's no fear. I have no fear. I have no worries. I have no cares. And, and people, people will tell you this all the time. I mean, there's uh, people that people that I work with, people that I you know interact with on a regular basis. They, uh, they, they, they almost, uh, <laughs> they almost, you know, hold it against me that, you know, that I don't, that I don't, I just don't, you know, put that much interest in, in their, in the things that they think are important, you know, because they're always worldly things, and, and, and of course there are some things you have to take note of and, you know, be aware of, but not to the extreme, you know, and I just don't worry about anything. I don't worry about anything. I don't worry about, you know, like Jesus said, don't worry about what you will, what you will, uh, what you will eat and what you will wear. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it isn't, isn't, isn't the the body uh, more important than the clothes and and, and such and, and and more important than food? And and, and he's what do you say about the birds of the air? You know, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, make a harvest or anything like that. But they always got food to eat and the flowers, you know. 
they don't they don't knit clothes or anything, but they're always uh, clothes. They're so beautiful, right? Okay, and this is I'm going through that really fast, but that's actually you know that's 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 the word. That's the word. That's the word that Jesus spoke. We don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about nothing. And every time you start to worry about something, every time you you begin to to take on the cares of the world. You leave his presence. You 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 walk right out of his presence, just saying, "God, I don't need you." And that's just the dumbest thing to do. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. I don't mean to be uh, arrogant, but it's the truth. It is it is the truth. So, learning how to be in his presence and stay there is something that you want to do. Is something that you you really want to partake of. Because there's no, there's no better existence. Yeah, that's what you were created for. That's what you were created for, is to have that solid, loving relationship with him. And uh, he will never leave you nor forsake you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Being in his presence, being in his presence entails that no matter what you do, no matter where you go, He is with you. And if He is with you, who can be against you? What can be against you? Nothing. 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 <laughs> oh, the presence of the Lord. And, and, and look, abiding in Him and, and, and being a part of His will, doing doing His will, is um, is so rewarding in so many ways. I am, I'm free. I'm free. I'm a fr I'm free. When I when I go places, when I speak to people, um, I I praise God that I, I well I've like I said I I pray fervently for strength at, at all times, and and He has increased me beyond measure beyond measure and I walk into a, a place into a store or, 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 or just into a group of people uh, kids uh, whatever I just the word of God is what I bring the word of God his presence is what I bring you know it's like uh, I don't know just to stay on that just a second because I'm uh, my thoughts are going, but um, when you when you bring His presence with you, then His will is being done. His work is being done because you are, in fact, preaching the word. Even if you're not talking really about Him, it's your heart. It's your presence. You've brought forth, you know is 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 going to emanate forth into them it's you know you're going to you you are going to be a seed the energy the energy of his presence is going to is going to disrupt any of the negativity that's going on around you in your life or in in, in other lives it, it's it's just so wonderful thank you jesus thank you oh man you know sometimes i think i i i think about these things like 24 hours a day and there'll be times when you know you just you, things are revealed to you in, in, a, in another way and or another another way of understanding it's just it's just overwhelming it's just so good it's just so good um, but anyhow as I was saying when when you um, you know when you bring his presence with you it, he's just further glorified he's further glorified because Well, again, too, another part, you know, like I always say, uh, we're blessed to be a blessing. And and you are blessed. You are blessed immensely when you're abiding, when you're, when you when you, just to just to even have the opportunity to abide in his presence, knowing that you have, just having the blood. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, my God, Lord, this is so good. This is so good. Oh, I don't know. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you increase me in my speech, Lord. Lord, that you strengthen me, Lord, that I am able to speak your word so perfectly, Lord, that it, so simply, Lord, that it goes into their hearts, Lord, it just manifests in Jesus' name. Oh.
His will is being done at all times. At all times. And when you are functioning on that level, when you are when you are anointed, you know, when you have your option to function. You just you will you see so many amazing things. Look at me. I'm just I'm I'm lost. I'm lost and I'm just lost in, in him. <laughs> okay. We have to be strong. We have to be strong. We have to be strong. <sighs> Again, it's it's something that you you you, you do regularly. And again, okay, I started this whole thing off to say, okay, we start off in prayer, all right? That's how you, 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 you begin. And, and, and of course, you know, knowing what you have, knowing who you are, knowing that you were created in his image and that his whole, his whole desire was to have fellowship with you. That you would love him and that he would love you. So, now that we have been redeemed, made whole by the blood of Jesus, able to be in, to, uh, to be in his presence, abiding in him, you can do with ease. And when you do it, praise God. Miracles abound in every area of your life. Miracles abound in every area of your life. Wow. I certainly hope that this has helped you today. I'm, um, <laughs> again, you know, I, I, I uh, oh, you know what? Let me speak again. I'm going to call those things that be not as though they were harash lay by that wolf. I am perfected. I am made whole. I am complete. The words that come from my mouth, Lord, the words that's, that, 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 that I speak, Lord, are through from my heart in Jesus' name, Lord, and they are perfect. They are perfect. And when your heart is in the right place, you will comprehend them perfectly. I know you will. I know you will. Uh, I am being perfected daily and as time moves on I will be further increased because I remain in his presence yes because I abide in his presence because his love is what matters most all right Okay, Paul Christian Goodwin, full of the Holy Spirit, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I want you all to know that I love you. I love you. Um, there really, there's nothing that I wouldn't do for any of you. Nothing, nothing in the world. Um, I have no, I have no desire to uh, to 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 gain anything of the world for myself um, I am thankful extremely thankful for all the blessings that it has been to my life I I do my very best to, to seek out ways in which those blessings that he has bestowed upon me are to be used can be used will be used uh, for the glory of the kingdom to help to do for others now again you know I, I'm, I'm being perfected daily it's a lifelong process. It's not something that you master overnight. It's not something that you, you you figure out and then you're done with it and then you know it's 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 life. It's life because it's eternal life. It's eternal life. Even after even after we we we, 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 we go to be with him, uh, if you will, and uh, it still continues. It still continues. It's eternal life. That's what he is. Eternal love. Eternal, just never ending. Never, never, never ending. So, um, 
again, yeah, what was uh, I? I do my very best. I do my very best, um, and uh, you know, I don't have everything figured out yet. But what I do have, I definitely try to share with you, and uh, and he reveals very great many secrets to me. Um, those of you who always uh, keep track of my text messages and such, um, you know, you know, I, I don't. Um, I do my I, I I just I just want I just want God's glory I just want I just want him to be glorified that's all I want um, again like I said I, I I do anything for anybody I have no there's no selfish desire in me I don't do I don't do favorites I don't do things because you're closer to me or you're my friend or whatever it is or you know and, and everything comes from my heart so again my number is uh, uh, 305-767-8707 there's something I am able to do for you you call me if there's something I am able to do with whatever God enables me to do in Jesus name in Jesus name I I am there for you I'm there for you um, well Guess I'll end this um, for a day. I pray that all of God's best is in your life, that you seek Him diligently, um, and that you know His presence. And when you enter into it, that you stay there, that you stay there, that you live. And make your home in his presence because his presence is peace. It's peace. It's the peace that Jesus left us. He says, I leave you my peace. That's what it is. That's what his presence is peace. And every problem, every heartache, every Every, everything that you carry is lifted from your shoulders as you abide in his presence. All right. God bless you all. I love you with all my heart. And uh, again, you have my number. Um, this is Holy Spirit Ministries. Um, my website is holyspiritministries.webs.com. Um, this is uh, Ustream. Uh, this is being recorded uh, via Ustream. And if you see, if you decide to try to search me out, um, it's Holy Spirit Ministries, all one word. And um, this particular episode is uh, abiding in His presence. All right. Thank you for joining me. And. Um, Just walk with him. Just walk with him. All right. All right. God bless you. I love you all.